Welcome back. So we move forward to the final presentation for today and for the whole conference. And this one is going to be made by me and, uh, and Andre as well. Andre, are you with us? Yes, I am here. Sorry, I was clicking some some <laughs> buttons just to get in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Greg, uh, I'm supposed to just interrupt you or something, yeah. or I I would uh, say, why don't you uh, talk and then I'll add. And if it's really necessary, then maybe I'll I'll interrupt. But I really wouldn't like to. Okay, but like um, uh, let's let's do it in a way that we talk about uh, you know what's. What, what we did in the project together. So whenever you feel there's like uh, something that you'd like to add, uh, feel free to come in. And then of course, there's like the closing of the conference where it would be very nice if you could say, if you close well, on well, of course the closing, but I'm talking about the uh, yeah, this yeah, presentation yeah. here. Yes. Whenever yes. you feel like it, just, just, uh, just come in and come in. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, yeah, the final presentation uh, of the conference, I would like to present everyone like the, main output of, of our project. So the name, the official name of this output is a Central European uh, Network Platform for Sustainable Plastics Packaging Solutions. So this is like a very, very, very special output that actually combines together all uh, biocompact CE work in a multitude of domains uh, that we've been to into one uh, very distinct uh, but virtual place. So uh, we talk about uh, those many things that we did within the project. And right now we are talking about place where you can uh, actually uh, find uh, all those things and also find us as, uh, as experts. So um, let me start from the beginning and come back to what Andre was talking on Monday. Uh, so uh, he, was, he was saying there that Biocompact C is actually an acronym uh, of much much, much longer uh, project name. And the name is Developing and Strengthening Cross-Sectoral Linkages Among Actors in Sustainable Biocomposite Packaging Innovation Systems in a Central Europe Circular Economy. So uh, yeah, uh, it is a mouthful. <laughs> it, is a, it is a long title, but, um, uh, but you can see that the words that are highlighted here um, yeah, are indeed uh, what we did within, within, within our project. And I hope that it's a little bit more clear now. And uh, when the co conference is almost finished, uh, I hope you uh, understand this title a little bit better, what that means and what that entails. Um, throughout the project, we were developing like different linkages. We were even creating some linkages and creating some, some, uh, some, some actors of the sustainable biocomposite packaging innovation systems. Uh, and uh, of course, the main shining holy grail for us was the circular economy. Uh, I also believe that, uh, like other words which are popular right now and which are like very often used, uh, that uh, uh, that have some significance to us, uh, are the words like a um, holistic approach to circular economy or uh, multi-stakeholder cooperation or industrial symbiosis. Uh, we, uh, I believe that within this project, we all touched upon those concepts uh, when we developed our ideas. Um, so. Right from the get-go, uh, uh, one of the most important ideas of our project was to create um, a platform where uh, all those actors that uh, I talked about previously and that we talk about throughout, uh, throughout our conference uh, can interact and find different linkages. Like the official description uh, of what we wanted to do from the beginning was to establish a transnational biocomposite packaging center, TBPC in short, as an integrated virtual network platform of technology and business innovation service providers in the area of sustainable paper plastic packaging solutions. And this platform was supposed to deliver support uh, in a form of exchange of information, uh, knowledge and resources to companies and develop R&D business ecosystems for implementing new market oriented projects concerning the application of biodegradable plastics in paper plastic packaging solutions in Central Europe. Uh, and uh, yeah, our idea was that this TBPC will comprise of, uh, of us, of project partners, and that will incorporate whatever we do in this TBPC in our daily responsibilities. Also, uh, this, um, this TBPC concept uh, was also planned from the beginning to be very open to other organizations like clusters, branch networks, EEN, research institute. Uh, they, uh, they were all invited to take part as associated partners of the TBPC. 
and of course we will train them to be able to uh, provide the support uh, as we can. Um, in, uh, in short, we wrote that the TBPC will provide scientific, technical technology as well as economic feasibility assessment promotion and other supporting type of uh, expertise to offer a well-rounded one-stop support service. Uh, so yeah, right from the start, we wanted uh, uh, we wanted the, um, the project to uh, not just to be like a finished product, but we wanted it to grow further. We wanted it to be a seed for something more. Um, and this is the way we conducted our project. We also um, uh, we also knew from the beginning that we wanted to link people. Uh, to, to link people together and build something new. But first thing we realized uh, very quickly when talking to uh, people who we wanted to be part of this, uh, of this huge, uh, huge network and huge TBPC uh, is the language. Uh, those two slides that I presented here, uh, are uh, they, they show our idea in a way of uh, this idealistic language, which is unfortunately rather abstract and obtuse to understand. Uh, when talking to the industry, we quickly find out that this language is indeed very, very difficult for them. Uh, and uh, especially when we are looking at different actors and different participants uh, of the value chain. Uh, and the problem is twofold. The first problem is that uh, this project central uh, uh, was, was uh, done in Central Europe. So we are like different countries who speak different languages, different national languages. But we also, different um, uh, participants of the value chain, uh, they use different words, jargon, they have different priorities, they understand this, their, their, their topic different. So what we did first was, when we realized that, is we uh, took a little step back uh, and tried to re retranslate this idea uh, into something more coherent. And uh, when we did that first, uh, I was very much inspired by a fascinating book by Randall Munro. It was called The Thing Explainer. I don't know if you know this book, but if you don't, I really recommend it to you. Randall Munro, he's an um, online, a popular uh, author of an, like this online comic strip called uh, XKCD. Uh, and he's really fascinated by language, technology, and science. So those are the three things he's most fascinated by. And his book, uh, Thing Explainer, is a testament to that. So he wrote a book which explains like a very uh, complex scientific and technological concept, but uh, he's just using uh, a set of uh, 10,000 most common, uh, sorry, 1,000 most commonly used English words. So he's explaining very complex things in a very simple language. So it is like a very uh, formal and fun extension of a proverb, explain it in a way that your grandmother would, would, would understand. And I took it as an inspiration, we took it as an inspiration to try to retranslate uh, re what we try to do uh, within this final output of the project. And this explanation goes like, uh, like that, that we will build a website through which we will help companies to design, produce, and introduce their biocomposite bio products. And very importantly, we want this website to continue well into the future, uh, not just be there as an abstract project outcome. So stemming from that, uh, we decided that the name TVPC, the Transnational Biocomposite Packaging Center, is a rather mouthful. So we shortened it and we chose the biocompact, uh, uh, we chose the paper biopack as like the final, uh, uh, the final name for this. Uh, and uh, because the, this Transnational Composite uh, Biocomposite Packaging Center was meant uh, from the beginning to be an uh, online platform in its conception, uh, we wanted to reflect to reflect it in the name. Uh, so uh, what we did, we we just added this simple extension that is actually like a very popular uh, internet extension uh, that that you use when you go to to different websites, but also signifies uh, the origin of the project. So the final name of of our online platform is paperbiopack.eu, and that's also coincidentally. Uh, the uh, uh, HTTP address of uh, of our uh, initiative. So, what do we offer, and what do we uh, what we will have in this paper biopack EU? So, first of all, as I said previously, it's it's an um, integrated virtual network platform. It's in the form of a very interactive website. 
It will consist of technology and business innovation service providers in the area of sustainable paper plastic packaging solutions, that is us. Uh, it will be created by us as well. So even though the project finishes in two days, uh, this concept will, and this platform uh, only right now is just getting started, as Andre told you on Monday as well. And it's of course free to join for external partners. Uh, it's created to deliver support to companies to, uh, uh, as in like a platform for exchange of information, knowledge and resources, uh, develop R&D business ecosystems, uh, and of course help in implementation of new market oriented projects. So it's a platform that you can all join and receive the help uh, within, uh, uh, within those domains. Uh, so coming back again to uh, what we said in the beginning, uh, Paper Biopack EU will provide a scientific, technical, technology as well as economic feasibility assessment, promotion and other supporting types of expertise to offer a well-rounded, one-stop support service. Um, for it, because this, this is supposed to be a website, we, uh, with our uh, really nice help with, uh, from partners in Hungary, we developed a visual identity for the platform. So we had like a different inspirations. Uh, about colors and forms. Uh, so for colors, we are inspired, of course, by the uh, EU flag, something that uh, joins us together. We are also inspired by traditional paper uh, and plastic recycling colors, although we know that those colors are different in different countries, but those are like uh, um, this, uh, you know, traditional concept that paper is, is, uh, is blue and, and plastic is, uh, is yellow. Uh, and uh, uh, we're also inspired by the colors themselves. We uh, straight from the beginning, we didn't want to have green in our logo, green on our website, because uh, green is such a cliche. But so we did something more creative. Uh, we know that green is a combination of blue and, uh, blue and yellow, and that's why we chose blue and yellow as our main colors. And for the form inspiration, we were inspired by uh, by like the form of a paper. Uh, like a traditional form of a package and also like the abstract vision of, uh, of, of like a vision or idea, as you can see here on the slide. And based on that, uh, we prepared this logo for our website and for our initiative and for our platform and for everything we do from uh, uh, this day onwards. Uh, it's called Paper Biopack. As you can see, the logo is, uh, is uh, very minimal, but also uh, uh, very modern and uh, shows uh, our idea very well, I, I think. Uh, and here I have some uh, examples on um, how this visual identity can look in, uh, look like in different contexts, like for example on web graphics or uh, on stationery uh, or uh, maybe even uh, exhibition displays. And this is the website itself. Currently, the website is dedicated to our conference, uh, and very soon uh, you will find uh, like all the materials from the conference on this on this uh, um, uh, on this website. Uh, and shortly afterwards, we'll bring bring back the full functionality with uh, all the things that I will talk about uh, in the next uh, couple of slides. So, what we'll have on our platform? We'll have like a different section. First of all, there, there will be a section on the platform itself. So we will, uh, in here, we will give you more information about the initiative. We'll tell you about the project from which this in, um, virtual platform is stemming from. Uh, there will be some contacts about us, who we are, uh, and of course, how to join and interact with us. There will be also a discussion forum. It's very important uh, to note that this is not just like a website that will be there full of different information, but this is uh, a place where people can come uh, and find uh, very concrete and specific people, experts that will that will uh, that will help them. We we'll also have like a knowledge base and frequently ask questions about this knowledge base. We will have there like uh, all the tools and resources that we developed throughout the project. So we we'll have this business support service that we did uh, and that we talked about uh, on day one and day two. Uh, there will be case studies from pilot actions, and not only that, uh, uh, there will be like a also possibility to uh, to do like a new pilot actions with us in there and there will be training packages in eight different areas which i will tell you a little bit more about uh, later and we will have like a really huge frequently asked question section with everything you need to know about uh, bioplastics and of course we'll have contacts like a very detailed business offer of us as our members once again uh, we are creating this platform uh, we are representing uh, many different um, uh, areas of um, 
uh, of the biocomposite packaging innovation value chain, and we can and we have lo lots to offer. So on this platform, we'll of course uh, tell who we are and give like a very specific instruction in how to how to reach us. And of course, uh, whoever wants to join this initiative will be will be also there. Uh, so yeah, a couple of words about uh, this knowledge base and what we'll have there. So first of all, we we'll have this business support service there, uh, BBS in short, which is a set of tools developed to consult and support companies in the packaging industry in order to raise cross-sectoral linkages between the actors and the segment. Uh, so uh, yeah, th that was basically the uh, idea of for package one. Uh, the aim is to provide tailor-made innovative uh, paper bioplastic packaging solutions in the framework of personal meetings between companies and the experts from Paper Biopack EU. And how does it work uh, specifically? We have, uh, this is something that we really work very hard on the project and fine tune it with the input of the whole packaging value chain. So we work very closely together with uh, many different companies uh, on that. Uh, and we have the audit tool, which is like the first to, uh, for feasibility assessment of different framework conditions, whether the company is uh, actually ready in their mindset to go into uh, biocomposite and sustainable uh, innovation. Uh, then we have the technological feasibility tool, which is the next step, which is a tool for assessment of the company technological uh, readiness level. So do they have the um, appropriate uh, and uh, needed equipment to, uh, to go into this business? And then uh, coinciding with that, we also have the economic feasibility tool, uh, which is the economical assessment of the provided uh, innovative solutions. Uh, so this will be available on our platform with like a very, uh, very detailed instruction on how to use them. Uh, and that's not the end. We, of course, plan to develop them further. Uh, and uh, we plan to uh, train uh, all, uh, all the new uh, partners that want to join us, train them how to use those tools so that they can use those tools with uh, other companies and have this spread and tree uh, like effect. So, once again, I need to stress that we are just getting started. Then we will, of course, have the pilot action case studies. You, you, you could hear about those pilot action case studies yesterday. On the website, we will have like uh, many, many, many documents uh, about uh, what specifically happened during those case studies. Uh, we'll have uh, those pilot actions. We'll have like a very detailed uh, case studies and um, and you will be able to read about all of them in the great detail and contact the people who are involved there if you want to cooperate with them, maybe. Um, we did three phases of this pilot actions, as you heard yesterday. So we already know how to do them. And uh, if you think that those kind of pilot actions are helpful to you, we can, of course, make a pilot action with you. So again, uh, this is something that you can also be a part of. And then we have training packages. So um, those training packages will be actually translated in all uh, project languages, English and all the project languages. Uh, and uh, we did those training packages for um, the training sessions with uh, companies in the biocomposite packaging value chain. But not only that, we also did it uh, for, uh, we didn't support the uh, very important uh, part of the um, value chain innovation network, which is the support. So that is clusters, association, branch networks, uh, EEN research institutes. In fact, uh, most of the project partners are actually coming from uh, from this support uh, side. Uh, so we did those uh, training sessions for them so that they uh, uh, they will know how to use the tools that we have. But those those training packages will also be um, available on our on our website. We have a training package on materials where we specifically uh, delve into technical details about paper plastics and bioplastics and also um, paper uh, like a very specific issues of paper and bioplastics regarding uh, the uh, actual technology of, uh, of of making biocomposite packaging uh, we have a um, uh, training package on legislation very important one uh, especially with regards to food packaging and packaging and waste uh, there's the uh, then we have a one about end of life, about material recycling and organic recycling, and many of the information that uh, you could actually hear uh, from Graziano today is uh, included in this um, in this training package. We have a training package on certification. However, this this one is just like a very general one because 
as you heard today in the morning, certification is an extremely complex issue. Uh, uh, and um, um, it has to be uh, tailored to your specific needs. So this training package will be like a very general one, but we also give like a very specific um, addresses and places where you can go to learn more and to see uh, how this issue of certification fits into your uh, idea of uh, your product and your innovation. Uh, then we have training packages on strategy and market, market feasibility. That's something that Andre was uh, talking about on Monday. And then, of course, we have these guidelines on business support service, so uh, like more instructions on how to use it. Uh, and again, uh, the um, case study description, specific examples per country, uh, in a different format than uh, uh, our case studies. A little bit more concise as well. So yeah, this is, this is what we uh, planned for you. Uh, this is how uh, the future of the product uh, of, uh, of the project will, uh, will look like. Uh, we will still be here. Uh, we really would like to cooperate further and we would really like uh, this network and this platform to grow. Uh, and Andre, if you have any anything to say, now now it's a great time to do so. <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yes, maybe maybe one comment. I mean, uh, you were talking about training packages, and to be honest, um, it's it's more like some sort of a structured guideline, I would say, because um, it's not really training unless you have um, you know the a person to walk you through and fi fill in the gaps that are in such a package. It's it's a useful guide, I would say, but. Um, uh, just a starting point, really. Mm -hmm. And and I think that's extremely important, you know, that this will not just be um, a document sitting somewhere, uh, but you will have a document and a structure and people behind it. And the people are going to be experts. So, so I think that's kind of the value and it should be uh, pointed out. Um, I think the training package uh, name is sort of misleading in a way. It is a training package, but it needs to be with a mentor really to have the full impact. Yeah. Uh, okay then, so uh, any closing words, Andre? Well, maybe maybe just one more point about the uh, service. I think uh, it should be emphasized also that of course this will not be a free service uh, but it will be a better accessible service and a more complete service it will not be free i mean sometimes uh, you see i'm i'm in a, a public institution and sometimes we're turned to as if we're a public service that's you know just call and we give information and that's not the case we cannot function that way uh, but I, I truly believe and I'm convinced that uh, it will be a service worthwhile even with a cost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, many of the resources that we developed throughout the project will, of course, be there free of charge. But as you said previously, they are like a starting point for us uh, to uh, interact with, uh, with uh, all the value chain that is interested in moving into uh, biocomposite packaging. And we will have this contact section where uh, you could approach us. And of course, then this is going to be done in a, uh, in a market form. The project is already finished, so uh, it will not be funded by, uh, by uh, anyone other than us. Of course, uh, we, uh, we will maintain the platform, uh, but uh, the platform uh, will be there to give you some more insights, some like at this starting point. Uh, I would also like to uh, emphasize that although we have an expert group that covers a lot of uh, areas, uh, this is by far not complete because in the way that I've uh, started uh, on Monday, I believe, you know, there are many issues that come to play when you want to do a transition, a proper sustainable transition in your uh, products and packaging and so on. Um, anything from business planning, let's say, to eco-design, 
um, to the technical issues, to production, marketing, and so on, certification. And um, it becomes rather broad. So uh, we have a group of experts, but this is by no means a closed group. And I would use this opportunity to invite uh, other institutions, uh, other experts to join us to uh, pool your expertise within the group. I hope that you uh, now see and understand how the uh, platform will function. And uh, I think um, it would help possibly the experts to use their expertise and, and actually make it useful and uh, lead to impact, but as well to the platform to make it richer, bigger, uh, no more, and so on. So, so I would really invite um, other institutions, other experts to join in because it is a, an open platform. I have to emphasize that it's an open platform. Okay, so uh, invited to come in, uh, contact us, because only that way we can make it uh, better. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Andre. So, uh, do, we, do we have any questions? Yeah. Uh, do we have any questions? Let's see if we have any questions. I see a thank you, but uh, yeah. <laughs> we still need a question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, uh, welcome. <laughs> okay, Andre. So, maybe you could, you, you could say a few closing words about the conference and about the closing of our project, at least officially, because... Uh, okay, we, we can still get a questions, yeah, question and, in between. And, and we'll um, well, um, I have to say that uh, it's, a, it's a closing of the conference, but also for us, pretty much it's a closing of the uh, project. We have, I think you said, two or three days, uh, but uh, pretty much closing of the project. And... As with any project, um, you know, when you start it, you don't really know what you're, you've got yourself into, who you got yourself into it with, uh, and uh, you start then swimming once you jump into this water. Um, normally, uh, and at least in my case, every time we find our way, every time it's slightly different. And uh, as, I, uh, as I say, you know, you start a project with a bunch of strangers and uh, that changes. You finish with a bunch of friends. And that's what happened, I think, also uh, in this project. I'm very, very happy of that. And I would have to uh, thank the whole project team, uh, the whole partnership, all of you, everyone, also perhaps those that, you know, moved during the project already, uh, because you've really contributed uh, to making this project fulfill its uh, mission, its goals, um, to, to make that application form that we always refer to uh, something real, to make our plans a reality and to bring to a, uh, an end. There's also um, life after life, of course, most of you know, I think. And uh, we will have a, it's called sustainability in project jargon, of course. Uh, and you see here what it will continue as, a service that should be available and should be efficient and should lead to a transition that we're looking for. And, um, you know, often when you talk about sustainability after projects, um, it's, it's more like, oh, the project's finished, like what now, nothing, let's go to a new project. But in my experience, and I've had a number of projects already, there really is sustainability if you've done good work. It comes in rather um, a sneaky way, kind of tricky. You don't expect it, but then you hear something. It's like, oh, uh, that's from that project. Or, you know, you see a mention of your project or you see what happened on the basis of that. And you're, you're actually surprised. You have unrelated people refer to the project that did something really cool there. And, uh, or you have somebody call you, you know, three years later, like, is this project still going on? Because I'm really interested in this and this. And they go like, well, you're a little bit late, but let me talk to you. Uh, so I am convinced 
since I followed this project and uh, had the privilege to uh, lead it. Uh, and I've, so I've seen what was done, how it was done, who did it, that uh, this project will also lead to something like that down the road um, in unpredictable ways, uh, unexpected ways as well, and in places and with people you didn't expect uh, to have a follow-up. Uh, you, you cannot plan this and you can't define what will happen, but I'm certain it will. We're in the trend. Uh, we took the right topic, we moved it forward, we moved it forward for the area. This uh, region needs it, uh, so I'm sure this will live on. There's another part of the life after life. Uh, we're all people, we'll move uh, forward in what we're doing, but we will take this with us. And I'm certain also that we will uh, be in contact, we will move partially together or in several different groups according to our expertise and our interests into new projects and we will take our expertise, our experiences with us. So I'm absolutely certain when we'll meet in a couple of years, we'll be able to see that you know this has grown into new projects, new initiatives, and most, most importantly, into new results results that actually uh, answer to the challenges that I started with on Monday, the global challenges that humanity is facing, that we are facing, that the world is facing, and that Europe is facing, and all our countries are facing. There are many, they are serious, uh, and they demand answers. Uh, and I think that we will uh, contribute to them. We have contributed to the uh, solutions, to finding answers, uh, and we will continue to do so. Maybe um, before I start really uh, uh, talking too much, which I'm known for, um, I would like to really thank the whole partnership. I would like to thank Greg Yu, personally, for uh, pulling this conference through. I know you are the person behind it, and I appreciate it very, very uh, strongly. Uh, you have a team behind you, a good team. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was, I I was must... about to say that uh, it's, it's, I'm, I'm here in front of a camera, but there's like plenty of other people working in the I know. <laughs> I know, I have somebody uh, here to the side uh, in the shade hiding from the camera. Uh, Moitza, I have to really uh, uh, name her. Uh, you know that without Moitza, I would miss most of my deadlines, forget my tasks and, and be generally lost and, and be late with all the reports, but I was not, uh, thanks to her. And I really, really have to thank her. Um, uh, and I have to thank all you people, uh, uh, in the audience, you obviously have an interest in this topic. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad of that because that is the important thing that we have people that want to know, understand and find solutions. So you actually will be taking this forward. I hope to meet um, you, I hope you contact us. Many I've met already, I know that. And I hope that we continue this together and uh, I, believe I will be correct if I say that the whole partnership is available um, to the audience, to the public, contact us and let's make the most out of what we've started here. And with that, I really would thank all of you for participating, for, for listening to us, for your questions, for your support. And uh, let's find a new opportunity and new, new challenges and Go ahead and find answers to what humanity needs. Thank you very much. I would also, before, last, 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 last point, I really have to thank the program as well. I've uh, said that, uh, I think on Monday, um, the Interreg Central Europe group is really a, a fabulous uh, group running the program. I have to thank them for the support. People are normally afraid of their project officers and financial officers and so on. And I have to say um, with the JS, uh, so Joint Secretariat of Central Europe, um, 
it's possible to work in a partnership. Uh, and I'm very, very glad that uh, we've achieved that. And uh, it really leads to more, finally. And I have to thank the program for the opportunity, for the financing, but also for the great support. And I, I really wish you to continue uh, in this uh, way in the future. So with that, really, thank you in my name to all of you. And I will close the conference. Thank you. We just have like one question. Is it? Uh, it's a very good question. How to contact us after the conference? Uh, yeah, uh, like um, uh, uh, as I said, uh, the uh, paper bareback you website right now is uh, is like linked to uh, to the conference specifically. But starting from from, from today, like in the afternoon, uh, it will transition to its normal operation, and there you will have uh, uh, all the contact details. But really. Uh, you don't contact us right now, we contact you. <laughs> we have all your emails and you will get uh, an update with, of course, like your certificates of uh, attendance uh, on the, this uh, online conference. But you will also get a link to uh, all the materials from this conference. Uh, we had a few questions throughout, uh, throughout the, the three days, whether the materials will be available. Yes, they will be available and you will get a link to them uh, um, very soon. I think it's going to be tomorrow or uh, Friday, uh, Friday latest. And with that, I think we can finish. Yes. Stay safe, stay healthy, innovate and go forward with optimism. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. And be sustainable. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.